Hey, it's LaDonna. Welcome back to Double L Cattle Farming and Hatchery. Today's video, we're going to talk about how much meat you get from processing a steer. Y'all stick around. So we get asked a lot, how much meat do you get when you process a steer? And we thought we would just do a video to show you guys what the process is and, and let you just see for yourself. With a couple of little bull calves that we're going to weigh. We just weaned. And then this is Harry. His appointment is Monday. A few days away. All right, who's going first? You two going first? Hey, big boy. Look at you. He's a big one. Well, 33. Good job. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Good boy. So we got a call that our meat was ready. We always come by and pick up some samples to test. Uh, we want to make sure we're selling good quality meat from our farm. And uh, you know, it's a really tough job doing that taste testing, but somebody's got to do it, right? A double decker sandwich. Look. Mm. Your mouth ain't even that big. <laughs> what? Take a bite. Look, you made a smiley face. This is as big as your head. <laughs> hey, Lennox, how fresh is the steak? If it was any fresher, it be still be frozen. Ow. No. Well, you gotta pay attention. All right, let's try again. Quick, Leo, go. <laughs> okay, we don't have to do it again. Linux, Leo, go. Say it loud. It's okay. Say it with your mouth full. Yeah, say it with your mouth full. Hey, Linux. Go. Go. Hey, Linux, how fresh is the steak? Full of any pressure will be still be creeping. So we just got our meat home and normally we would just weigh this up and you know divide it into quarters or whatever we've sold it as. Today we're going to try to answer some of your questions. We get a lot of questions about how much meat do you get in a quarter, how much freezer space do we need. Wanted to kind of touch on some of those answers for you. And this deer weighed 1,233 pounds. The hanging weight was 706. We're going to weigh some of this up and sort it out and then we will get back with how much of what you get. So we got these weighed up and evened out. They're really close. So now we're just going to weigh a box to see how much we need to take off for the box. 187. All right. We're going to label each one of these as to how much they weigh so we can figure out how much the customer owes. All right, so we got everything sorted out. We put each cuts together and then counted them as well as weighed them. Um, the roast, there were 29 roast for the full beef and it weighed 78.57. There was 18 cube steak packages. It weighed 19.94. There's four brisket because I get it cut up. 12.78 um, pounds. 79 steaks for 58.51 and eight fajita meats for 6.7. J 
just keep in mind that this is for a full beef and some of the steaks come you know two in a pack not all of them but that was kind of hard to give you an, a set number also keep in mind that this is just an approximate amount because this was a 1230 pound steer and you know the meat that you get is going to vary from animal to animal the hamburger meat we divided it all out and it came up to roughly 51 and a half pounds of hamburger meat for a quarter the hamburger meat is a very lean meat it's packaged in an 85 15 percentage also the processor we used will allow you to do different cuts on half of the beef so you can actually fill out two of these forms. So if you want to buy a half a beef from us, you can actually pick out what cuts you want. And I'll put this on there for an example. While the numbers are not exactly, you know, in force, we, we just divide this as evenly as possible. And then we weigh it and we charge the customer per pound. Also, we get asked, how much freezer space do I need for a quarter beef? And we're going to say that's going to be about a five cubic foot freezer per quarter. So a small freezer would hold a quarter. So this is one of our ribeyes. We tried them out last night and they were delicious. Um, we always try them before we sell them. We don't want to sell anything um, that's not up to our standards. Our beef is all grain-fed beef. And I'm just going to say this about grain-fed versus grass-fed. If you like grain-fed beef, you're probably not going to like grass-fed beef. And likewise, if you like grass-fed beef, you're probably not going to like grain-fed beef. We feed each of our animals out for 90 to 120 days before we process them. And then once they're taken to the processor, they're hung up for about two weeks before they're actually processed. Thanks for watching today. I hope this answers some of your questions about buying meat from your local farmers. Y'all please like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. See y'all later. Phoenix, how fresh is this steak? Could be any fresh or we still be grazing.